The great 20th century crisis was a period in the first half of the 20th century, beginning in the years leading up to World War I. Through that war, uh, the years that followed the Great Depression and the years of World War II, uh, that shook the foundations of society around the world, bringing uh, to power uh, powerful governments, dictatorial governments, Germany, Italy, uh, the Soviet Union, Japan, and other places, um, and launching uh, great wars uh, between them that shook the foundations of world society that had been building over the previous uh, centuries. The 20th century crisis uh, was built upon the foundations of the 19th century and developments during that time uh, that led us into the world wars. The Industrial Revolution itself, uh, with all the great prosperity that it brought in connections around the world, would eventually be the manner through which the wars would be launched, uh, increasing industrial production for total war and creating new and par powerful and, and horrible weapons. Uh, nationalism, the growing ideology of the century uh, previous, uh, would also have an impact on the uh, development of the First World War, uh, in particular as a uniting factor, uh, leading to conflict between these countries, uh, uniting countries against one, one another, but also as a dividing factor, ripping apart uh, old imperial empires with various ethnic groups within it. Both industrialization and nationalism uh, led to imperialism and fight between these countries uh, that was also a, a determining factor leading into the First World War. Coming out of the First World War and uh, its failure at a, a sustainable peace, uh, this helped lead to the Great Depression and the economics around that uh, that led to great hardship around the world and helped lead to the rise of dictators in various countries, particularly in Germany and Italy, uh, the rise of extreme nationalist ideas uh, in fascism, Nazism, and Japanese militarism, uh, which came in direct conflict uh, with the ideas of communism that had come to power in the Soviet Union uh, after the Russian Revolution uh, in 1917, which was also itself a uh, result of the First World War, and the failure of the League of Nations, which had been established in the years uh, after World War I to prevent another war from happening, but itself was a weak organization, lacking the membership of many key countries, including the United States and the Soviet Union. These factors helped lead into the second armed major conflict of the period of the Second World War. Other early major 20th century factors that had a major uh, impact on the changes that were happening at the time that led to these great conflicts was the rapid economic growth putting increasing pressure on natural uh, environment and on uh, countries themselves who were desiring more and more uh, natural resources and such to uh, drive their industrial economies, and this led to increased conflict. The return to economic protectionism undermined global economic integration. Protectionism itself uh, being the idea that uh, one could protect one's economy from outside competition through tariffs and taxes. And this became more and more of a problem as more and more countries industrialized. Um, all this did, however, in the short term was to lead to less and less global trade, less and less global economic integration, um, as had been going on before uh, in the second age of globalization, and this would help lead to the Great Depression. Uh, the two world wars unleashed terrible weapons all the way from the machine gun of the First World War through the atomic weapons at the end of the Second World War. Um, was backed by the power of industrial production in order to create these things and distribute them and make more of them. Um, this helped undermine European wealth and power, uh, leading to a space for the rising economies uh, of the United States, Japan, and the Soviet Union to begin challenging Europe's economic power in the first half of the 20th century and eventually lead uh, to them becoming even stronger economic powers in the second half. We also had considerable anti-colonial movements and nationalist movements uh, across the world in the colonial possessions in Africa and Asia, and this began to weaken uh, Europe's grip on its colonies there, and spheres of influence, it would eventually lead to rapid decolonization um, after World War II. And you also had new uh, theories and attitudes in the sciences and arts uh, that eroded the confidence the late 19th century European thinkers. Uh, previous to this, you had a strong belief in progress, 
uh, based on the Enlightenment, based on the ideas of scientific progress from Newton all the way to Darwin. Uh, but in the years around the World Wars and Depression, with all the uncertainty and, and doubt, um, there were uh, considerable questions about um, how society would evolve and progress in the future, if at all. Uh, building upon the uh, ideas of scientists like uh, Albert Einstein, um, the psychoanalysis of Sigmund Freud, um, and the artistic movements of uh, abstract art um, typified by Pablo Picasso. Uh, 